for those of you that don't know, I have a million projects, and one of them is this Bandit 1200. Since prices have increased on gas, we are going to go ahead and get this thing back up and running again. And one of the things that always goes bad on these bikes is the fuel pet cup. This thing will force feed fuel through it while it's just sitting. So today we are going to go ahead and get that rebuilt and I'm going to show you how to do it. do this one-handed I guess so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this bad boy off so you basically take these two screws out And then she just pulls out of here. It will have a little bit of fuel in it, so be careful. Let's get this tank out of the way. So here's the kit we got. Part number 185023. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take it apart and get it cleaned. So what you're going to do right off is just take the screws out. This is where the diaphragm is located. So that's what we're going to start with. I'm going to get you over here just because I'm right-handed. Set these over here so they don't get lost. This little bad boy off. Got a new spring, but try not to lose a spring. And this is where that diaphragm comes in handy. As you can see, it is totally just disgusting and gross, and that's probably why it's uh, dumping fuel like crazy. Yeah, take a look at that. All right, so now that we got that out, let's go ahead and take the front off. Get that pulled out. This thing is nasty. I honestly thought it was my carburetors that were the problem, but it uh, seems that this is probably the culprit out of everything. So I'm gonna leave this like this so I don't lose track of everything. Set that there. Pop this o ring out of here. And uh, that's how you take it apart. Let's get her all cleaned up and put back together. Just went ahead and sprayed some brake clean through it. What I like to do is spray it with brake clean and then take a little brush and brush it out. Typically, you like to use a metal brush, but I'm not sure where mine's at right now, so we'll just use this one. Get a 
little scrape ejection in there. Spray it out one more time. Go ahead and take a look at this bad boy. So basically what you gotta do is you gotta pull it through, I believe. Yeah. So what you're gonna do is kinda push this thing, get it started, and you gotta wad up the diaphragm to get it through there. Just like that. I'll clean this off real quick. You know what, actually, I don't think it needs it because I'm afraid it'll melt the plastic. I'm going to say that's okay. Get a handy dandy kit here. Now if you want all these O-rings to seal right away quickly, you're going to want to use grease or Vaseline. I don't have any Vaseline here, so I'm just going to use a tiny bit of grease. So just like before, we're going to kind of wrap it up. Try not to damage it. And we're going to go through the hole. Real gently, just like that. Get this thing rotated to where it sits right. It's got these little alignment deals. Get that put on there, just like that. There's that. Like I said, take a little grease. Not even that much. A little dab will do you with this stuff. Okay, that part's done. Go ahead and pop this O-ring off of here. And go spray this one out. Let's grab our new O ring. Just a dab of grease. So on there nice and straight. And that's that part. Now since this is so clean, I'm not gonna be worried about spraying this out or anything. So we're just gonna go ahead and get this put back on here. And then don't forget your spring. That basically goes there. Just like that.
Now we're gonna go ahead and throw that other one on. Now this is ready to go back on. Make sure you get everything all lined up correctly. Just like that. And that is how you rebuild a pet cut carburetor. We'll go ahead and replace that O-ring when we throw it back in. But uh, I think that's it for today, guys. That was my carburetor, um, sorry, not carburetor, pet cut rebuild kit video. Uh, don't forget to like and share and give her hell.